Hi, welcome to Practical Electronics Simplified. In this tutorial, you will learn how to send and receive data from Launchpad to your laptop using UART serial communication. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. Before we understand UART communication, we need to understand ASCII, or American Standard Code for Information Interchange, which is a character encoding standard that represents characters as numbers for electronic communication. Here, character A corresponds to decimal value 65. In binary, it is 01000001. Let's see how does it look in the form of a digital signal. Here, logic 1 corresponds to 3.3 volts, whereas logic 0 corresponds to 0 volts. I hope you can understand the decomposition of a binary number into a digital signal. Now let's see how does a UART signal looks like for this binary number. A UART frame consists of five main elements. First, the idle state, which is a logic high or 1. Next, the start bit, a logic low or 0, which signals the receiver that a new character is incoming. Then come the data bits. This is the core of the frame, consisting of 5 to 9 bits, depending on the encoding used. These bits represent the character being transmitted. In this case, we are using 8 data bits. Finally, the stop bits. 1 or 2 bits in the logic high or 1 state, marking the end of the character. Additionally, a parity bit, if used, this follows the data bits and allows the receiver to check for any errors during transmission. The parity bit is optional in nature and not shown in this waveform. Now, let's understand the data transfer speed of UART serial communication. The UART often uses the term baud rate, which is defined as the number of bits transmitted per second. For example, at a baud rate of 9600, 9600 bits are sent every second. To calculate the time per bit, we take the inverse of the baud rate. In this example, the time per bit is 1 divided by 9600, which equals approximately 104 microseconds per bit. This bit duration determines the timing of each part of the UART frame, including the start bit, data bits, optional parity bit, and stop bits. Precise timing is critical in UART communication to ensure the transmitter and receiver stay synchronized. These are the common baud rates used in UART. In our case, we will be using 9600 baud rate on Launchpad. Now let's take a look at the schematics. For this demo, we are using USB to UART module from Wireshare. However, you can use any USB to UART module. Just make sure it supports 3.3 volt logic. You can see the TX connects to RX and vice versa. Make sure to connect the ground pin as well. The launchpad connections are pretty easy. Now let's jump to the Halcogen to see the driver settings. Open Halcogen. Go to Driver Enable tab and select Enable SCI Driver. The TMS570 microcontroller uses the term SCI or Serial Communication Interface instead of UART. Next, we go to Pin MUX tab where we select SCI Peripheral. Scroll down to Pin 38 and 39 and make sure the RX and TX are selected. Now we jump to SCI Data Format tab under SCI. We will be using 9600 baud rate, 2 stop bits, 8 bit data and no parity bits. That's all with the Halcogen settings. Make sure to generate the code and import to the Code Composer Studio environment. If you are new to this, please check my previous videos. Now let's open Code Composer Studio. Here I already have the firmware written down. The firmware starts by including two header files, one for system level functions and the other for controlling the serial communication interface, or SCI. Next. We define data2 as an unsigned 8-bit integer array with 14 characters which stores a message for transmission and a variable rx data for receiving incoming data. In the main function, the uart module is initialized using sci init. This sets up the hardware for serial communication. Inside an infinite loop, the program checks if there's any received data using sci is rx ready. 
if data is ready it reads a byte into rx data using sci receive byte the firmware then immediately sends the same byte back using sci send byte this creates a simple echo function after sending the echo it transmits the predefined data to array using sci send which sends a static test message over uart it is worthy to note that SCI reg parameter is a pointer used by the SCI driver to access the SCI module registers, which is defined in reg SCI header file. That's all from the firmware side. Now let's upload the firmware to the launchpad and see it's working. Now open device manager. Under ports you can see the USB serial device COM6. This is useful to understand the communication port number at which our USB to UART converter is connected on the laptop. Next we will be using Docklight as our serial terminal to send message from our USB to UART converter to the launch pad. You can download Docklight from the link in the description or you can use any other serial terminal. Make sure to use baud rate of 96000. Let's start the communication channel in Docklight. Next, we send character A. You can see the character A has been captured by the oscilloscope. You can see the launchpad has replied back with an echo message of ARX by TMS 570. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do like, comment, and share this video to support my channel. That's all for now. See you next time.